Hey everybody, it's Adrian. We're going to try something a little bit different this time. We're actually at our dining room table, which is doing double duty as our craft table also. And we have a returning guest with us, Zoe. Say hi, Zoe. Hi. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these 3D printed uh, little pieces of wall art and I printed them with no top on them and what we're going to do is we're going to try filling them with this casting resin and we're going to add some Perlex powder to get to make it look nice and Zoe is going to pick the color so Zoe what color do you want to use? I wanted this one. The purple? How did I know? The purple. <laughs> that one? Because I like purple. That one is actually called True Blue True blue. True blue. So that one? Mm hmm. All right. Can I hold it? Yes, you may. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Okay, so these are the supplies that we have. Uh, we bought some syringes on Amazon, just a variety of different ones. Uh, because some of this is so small, I think the syringes are going to work a little better to inject the, the resin in because it's just too small for us to pour. So we're going to, we've never done this before, we're going to kind of figure it out as we go. So we'll get set up and be right back in a second. Okay, we're back. And now I have my lovely wife, April, with me. Hello. All right, and what we decided to try, and I'm sorry if the audio is bad. We're kind of making do as we go. We decided we'd try the 20 milliliter syringe with the light green. These are all blunt tip. So um, we figured we're going to do one at a time because I don't know how long it's going to take to do one and you have about 30 minutes of working time once you combine the two and I just don't know how long it's going to take so we're going to just do enough to hopefully do one of them and then we can remix it and do each of the others so we're just going to kind of see how this goes so you just mix equal amounts of A and B since this is a 20 milliliter we're just going to do 10 milliliters of each one so we'll see how this goes Try to get 10 milliliters on the first try. That's hard to see. I'm going to do that here. And it says to pour slowly so you don't get any bubbles in it. So that looks like that is just a hair over 10 milliliters. Okay, and now we're just over 20 milliliters. So just right. So now we're gonna take the Perlex powder and we just had this laying around. We had it for quite a while, so we're just gonna try it out. And I'm gonna add about that much. And now we start mixing. And same thing, you don't wanna introduce bubbles into it if you can help it but you do have to thoroughly mix it it says to make sure you scrape it off the sides and the bottom 
and it says it takes about two minutes to mix it. Definitely thick. It does not want to go up in this. Okay, wow. So, first problem it's a lot thicker than I thought it would be, and it just does not want to be sucked up into the syringe. I don't know if you can see. It's it's enough that it actually pulls the plunger back down. So, can you get me the large one in the bag right there? All right, so we're gonna char try a larger needle because this one obviously is not working. So there was one size larger and if this doesn't work then we're kind of out of luck and this is going to be a shorter video than I expected. So let's try it. That's better, but definitely still very thick, doesn't want to come up. That's really weird if you watch the color change in there. It's bubbles. Yeah. The bubbles. Don't know if you can see that on camera, but as I pull back and the vacuum increases inside the syringe, a bunch of bubbles appear as soon as I let the pressure off, they go away. Paper towel. Alright, let's see if that's enough. We'll go ahead and try it. And I'm going to start with this one because we have two of them. We'll go ahead and start here. Okay. As tough as it was to get in the syringe, it comes out really easy. It does? Yeah, it does. said before this is our first time trying this so I don't know this might be just a really horrible way of doing this I don't know <laughs> it's just as I was sitting and thinking about it it just made sense to me <laughs> so feel free to comment if you have a better way of doing this but with this larger needle on the syringe it seems to be doing a lot better Mm, I 
have enough to do another one. Maybe. Yeah, it, it's we really weren't sure how much how much resin it would take to fill this up. It's not taking a whole lot. It's not as much as I thought. I had considered filling up filling it all up with water. It's filling all this up with water and then pouring it off and measuring it, but that just seemed like way too scientific. <laughs> Almost you know, professional or I don't know, so I figured we would just wing it. back of course the camera stopped recording so I don't know how much you guys missed but basically I've done a first pass over the whole thing and I'm gonna go back and add a little bit more just to kind of I want to get it up close to being level with the surface if I can so now I'm just gonna go back and try to add a little bit more on top and hope that it'll settle and level off well it should because it hasn't had long enough to set really well yet it says you have about 30 minutes of working time and it hasn't been near that long yet. say so far it actually is really easy to work with aside from the deal with the syringe so I'd say that's it for that one very pretty and we will go ahead and work on the other two and come back to you guys once we get those done let you see how it turned out so we have all three of them done now and I have to say I think it turned out really cool I'm really happy with the results from it I think this is an interesting way to finish off your prints, add a little something different to them instead of just painting them. So a little bit about the print itself really quick. It was printed on the CR-10 in Tiance White PLA at 0.24 layer height, 220 degrees. And all I did to, to get it this way was I did zero top layers and zero infill. So I think there's a lot of options to do this sort of thing on prints just by making those changes to it. The Perlex powder that we used is just a pigment powder. It's something that I had laying around. I used to do a lot of plastic model cars and it was just something that I added to the paint before I airbrushed it on just to change the color a little bit or add some pearl to it. There are a, a ton of different brands of pigment powder out there in, in tons of different colors and stuff. If you look on Amazon there's a bunch of them out there. And I've also read that you can use uh, acrylic paints instead of a pigment powder. You can use acrylic paints or a alcohol ink. Basically nothing that is water-based. The water doesn't react well with it. The casting resin that we used is a Lumalite brand and I just picked it up on Amazon and you can see in the video earlier it was really easy to use. It's just a one-to-one -one ratio and it's really simple to mix up. And I was a little concerned because it was a little thicker than I th had thought it would be, but you can see it ended up self-leveling out beautifully. I mean, it's, it's perfectly smooth. And it even filled in these tiny little nooks and crannies in the print. It flowed into those and filled them in completely. So, conclusions. It was a lot of fun to do. I really enjoyed doing this. I think it's an interesting way to add something different to your models and you have basically unlimited options as far as the colors that you want to use and whether you want to do a pearl or a metallic or a solid color and I think that you know if it's something that you've been thinking about doing go ahead and give it a try it, it was very simple it was really easy to do so hopefully you enjoyed our little experiment and if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and as always happy printing